If you've been following the news lately, you've probably heard this line again and again, that AI is going to replace every job. In fact, some tech leaders say that by 2030, humans won't be doing anything anymore, that robotics and AI are going to do all the work for us. It's a very dramatic prediction, but is it true? In this video, I'm gonna cut through the hype. I'm gonna show you what's actually happening with AI and jobs and why I believe the transition won't be as fast as some people think. And most importantly, which tech roles will still exist and thrive into 2030 and beyond. So let's start with a the fear. There's a lot of talk about AI and robotics taking over everything from coding and customer service to driving trucks. And of course, AI is advancing very quickly and robotics is a little way behind, but it's coming along as well. So we've seen some really fantastic videos. I'm sure you've seen them online of robotics and how it's advancing. Now tools like ChatGPT and Gemini and autonomous systems are definitely changing the way that we work today. But the truth is a lot of the predictions you're hearing are somewhat exaggerated, often vastly exaggerated. Many of these claims come from people living in the very top 1% of tech and often living in very specific parts of the world. They're in a bubble where tech is around them all the time, where everything moves at lightning speed. But in the real world, things don't advance that fast. In fact, we can probably think of all sorts of different examples of where the technology just hasn't made it into companies. So while a technology capability may exist, it doesn't mean that every company all on the, around the planet is going to use that technology. And of course, especially when we look at some of the developing nations around the world, it's going to take much, much longer for them to deploy certain technology than it is perhaps in Silicon Valley or somewhere like that. The truth is that for a lot of companies, it will take years, sometimes decades, to adopt new technology fully. So AI isn't going to wipe out every job. What it's doing is changing how jobs work and how we work with technology. And we've seen this before, of course. We've seen it with the internet. We've seen it with automation. We've seen it with cloud computing. All created fear at first. But what happened is eventually it ended up creating more jobs than it replaced. And just the way that we interacted with technology and the efficiency and the output that we were able to produce increased over time. So what generally happens is repetitive tasks are going to get automated. The tools become smarter and humans move into new roles that involve managing and improving those systems rather than actually doing some of those repetitive tasks themselves. And that's exactly what's happening with AI. In 2030, the people who will have the most secure and best paying jobs are going to be the ones who know how to use, deploy and manage AI systems, not compete against them. So let's talk about some tech roles that are actually growing because of AI. They're not disappearing at all. Firstly, we have cloud engineers. So every AI application is running in the cloud. So training the models, storing the data, running inference, building the systems. This happens on cloud platforms. It's very rare these days that companies are building advanced AI solutions in their own data centers. They're doing it on AWS. They're doing it in Microsoft Azure. They're doing it in Google Cloud Platform. So as AI adoption increases, so does the need for the people who can design, build, manage, and operate the systems in the cloud. It's not all done for you. These clouds, they offer a lot of capabilities in data storage, in databases, in data engineering. They offer the infrastructure layer and the AI services. But then as engineers, what we have to do is build the systems that use those underlying capabilities. We then have cloud architects. So architects are people who design large scale systems that combine the data, the networking, the AI workloads. So we're looking at things at a higher level here. This is usually more experienced folks. So you might've been a cloud engineer for a few years and then you move into cloud architecture. I worked as a solutions architect for many years. That means I'm designing solutions to business challenges, business problems, business goals. Companies will come to me and ask me, this is what I want to do. This is how I want to scale my infrastructure. This is the redundancy, the uptime that I need for my systems, the capabilities I want to deploy. And then I'll work out, okay, how do we do that using the available technology? Those jobs aren't going anywhere. They're just going to change. So as more and more of the underlying infrastructure is automated, as more capabilities are produced as a solutions architect, I need to learn those new capabilities. I need to learn what's happening in the world of AI so that I can help to advise my customers on what they should do, what they should utilize to achieve their goals. 
Next up is AI and ML engineers. So those working directly with artificial intelligence, machine learning, and data engineering as well. These are the builders who connect foundation models. They're gonna train domain specific APIs. They're gonna deploy generative AI solutions. Now, of course, this role is not going anywhere. It's very highly paid. The demand is growing all the time as more and more companies need to utilize these types of capabilities. So these three roles, cloud engineer, cloud architect, and AI and machine learning, learning engineer, these roles are growing in demand. These are powering the AI-driven economy of the future. And while we may hear headlines of people losing their jobs, it's not these people, okay? It's people in other positions that are being automated away by AI. So those of us in the tech industry, we need to take note of that and make sure that we transition our skill sets into these types of roles that do have a future. And if you wanna enter into the industry, these are a great starting point as well. So what most people don't realize is that the transition to full automation through robotics and AI is gonna be a long process. It's gonna take decades. It's not just gonna be in a few years. So these jobs have a future and the specific jobs that we're talking about today, these are some of the best roles that you can focus on if you want to have job security and work with exciting technology over the next decade and beyond. So I believe there is a great opportunity here for those who have the right skills. Will tech jobs exist in 2030? Absolutely they will. They won't look the same as they are today. We have to be aware that our job role, our tasks and responsibilities, the technology we use is going to evolve as we go forward. It's not going to be the same for anyone, including cl cloud engineers and cloud architects in five years or 10 years as it is today. But you can start learning the technology now and you'll evolve your skill set as you go through the years. Now at Digital Cloud Training, we created the Cloud Mastery Bootcamp to help people to transition into cloud roles, whether you're starting out as a beginner in tech or whether you're an advanced person who's been working in the tech industry for some years, but you want to learn cloud skills. We have a path way for you. It's all about certifications and hands-on experience. Hands-on experience is the most important part of that program because certifications are uh, really just a sort of prerequisite for any job role today. You need to have certifications. They're not too difficult to attain, but the hands-on skills is where the real magic is. That's where you need to be able to build skills that solve problems for businesses and have a portfolio of experience that you can demonstrate in order to get those jobs. So if you're interested in working with me and my team, then please check the link for the Cloud Mastery Bootcamp in the description of this video. And if you got value from this, please like and subscribe to our channel.